Hi guys, today I'm jumping straight in and priming my eyebrows with the NYX Proof It Eyebrow Primer. I'm starting out with the eyebrows because I think this is what's going to take the most time, so I just want to get them out of the way first. I'm lining the shape of the brows and filling them in with a pencil. I'm using a really light pencil so I'll be able to build up the colour on top of that. As usual, I'm neatening up the brows with concealer. I'm then using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo to fill in the area that I've left at the front of the brow and to also go over the pencil just to darken the colour. Next, I'm going to be using a mixture of NYX eyebrow gels in different colours and I'll also be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and the NYX Tame and Frame Pomade. I'm using different products in different shades because I want to add as much texture to the eyebrow as possible. What I'm really trying to go for is tr trying to like mimic real hairs. So I'm just using the different products and the different tones and just creating little brush strokes to kind of give the illusion that there's real hairs and real texture there. For me, this was really time consuming because I don't actually have any eyebrow hairs, but if you've got a really full brow, all you'll really need to do is add some extra texture just to make it look um, like hairier and like it's got more depth. Once I'm happy with the texture of the brow, I'm just reshaping the end and then concealing underneath my brow bone. So now I'm moving on to the eyes. I'm starting out by using the same pencil that I use for the eyebrows to map out a crease. Because this is kind of a drag makeup look, I'm going to be doing the crease a lot higher up than where my natural crease would be. I'm sorry that you can't see this close up like you could when I was doing the brows, but my battery died and I don't have a spare one. Boo! I'm using tape so that when I peel it off there's going to be a really neat line and hopefully it'll make me look snatched. To define the shape of the crease and give it a really sleek line, I'm just doing the same thing that I always do with my eyebrows and just concealing underneath the shape. To highlight underneath the brow bone I'm using a white eyeshadow from Sugar Pill. To blend out the pencil that I've used to create the crease, I'm using Frappe eyeshadow from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. And then blending that out up towards the brow bone using Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. When I'm blending out the eyeshadow above the crease, I'm not worried about making a mess or any fallout because I'm going to go back in with my concealer just to really carve out that cut crease shape again. I'm then filling in that entire crease with Magic Act from Makeup Geek. Now I'm just curling my eyelashes and outlining where my eyeliner is going to go. I'm going to be applying glitter all over the lid so I'm just mapping out the eyeliner first. I'm using Lit Cosmetics Glitter Adhesive and I'm just applying that all over the lid. I'm then patting on the glitter and the glitter I'm using is Lit Cosmetics Champagne Wishes. To clean off any glitter that may have got onto the crease, I'm using a eyeshadow on a flat angle brush just to dust it off. Adding more colour to the crease will help intensify it and just bring some more depth to the eye. I'm then applying the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to my natural eyelashes. After peeling off the tape, I'm applying my eyeliner. Because this is a drag makeup look, I'm going to be using a lot of eyeliner and it's going to cover a lot of my lid 
um, that's why obviously I do the cut crease a lot higher up so it still looks like a natural eye shape. The eyeliner that I'm going to be using will be a mixture of Kat Von D's Trooper, NYX liquid eyeliner, I think it's called like vinyl black or something and then I'm also going to be using a gel pot and a brush. After I'd completed the liner, um, I then looked at my reference pictures of Miss Fame again and I don't know, it, it just didn't look right. My eyes looked a lot more elongated and like long, kind of like drawn out, whereas Miss Fame's, they go like really high up on an angle. So I'm just taking a makeup wipe and just kind of redoing that liner just so it's higher up. To neaten up the eyeliner, I'm going back in with that Magic Act eyeshadow. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I mean with the eyeliner. Now, instead of coming out really long, it just goes really sharply up at an angle, if that makes sense. On my waterline, I'm using the NYX Pure White Slide On Glide On Pencil, and I'm just bringing that just underneath the lower lash line as well. So now I'm applying the lashes, these are B184 lashes from Eldora and this is literally like one of my favourite styles, I wear them all the time. To conceal the lash line and blend the false lashes and my natural lashes together, I'm just using some more liquid eyeliner. I'm then giving the falses a light coating of Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Because this is a drag tutorial and I want that really thick coverage, I'm using the Cryolan TV paint stick. And as I do with all my foundation, I'm just blending this out with a beauty blender. I'm using the Dermacolor Camouflage Creams just to conceal and highlight the high points of my face. I'm then using the Beauty Blender to blend that all out. For my contour, I'm using dark colours from the Ben Nye HD Concealer Palette. I'm applying this with my fingers and then I'm blending it out with the Beauty Blender. With that light concealer on a flat brush, I'm carving out a line from the corner of my eye up to my temples. This basically gives the illusion that the face is really like pulled upwards. I won't actually be blending out that line, I want that line to stay really harsh, but I am blending the concealer underneath that line. I'm then adding a little bit more of that dark contour colour right in the socket of the cheekbone just to give it some more depth. To contour the nose I'm making the bridge of the nose look smaller and the length of the nose look smaller as well. I'm also contouring my nostrils, this will basically give the effect that the nose is smaller and it kind of looks like it's been pinched if that makes sense, it looks really like petite and like snatched. I'm then blending that out with a mini beauty blender and afterwards I'm adding more colour to the areas that I want to be more prominent. Again, just blending that out with the mini beauty blender. I'm then reshaping the tip of the nose and blending it out with the beauty blender. Once I've finished with all the cream contouring, I'm then baking my face with some translucent powder. To lightly blend out the nose contour even further, I'm just using a light brown eyeshadow on a really fluffy brush and just loosely blending that out. 
Once the baking's finished, I'm just dusting away the powder with a big fluffy brush. I'm then using my beauty blender just to really pack on some more powder. I'm then using my Kat Von D shade and light palette to go over my contour and blend all the colours together. Although I've used cream contour, I'm using a powder on top as well because I think powder gives the skin a smoother texture than cream. I'm then adding some highlighter to my forehead and cheeks. The highlighter that I'm using is a mixture of Kiko and Stargazer 13 eyeshadow. I'm carving out a line with the light concealer underneath where I've done all the contouring. I'm doing this just so it really stands out because this is a drag makeup after all so nothing has to be subtle. I'm then blending some eyeshadow underneath where I put the white eyeliner. I'm starting off by using a light brown and then I'm just building up the colours. I'm keeping the darker colours more towards the corner of the eye and then blending them out when they get to the inner corner of the eye. Because the white eyeliner comes down a lot further than my waterline, it's covering some of my lower lashes. So I'm adding some black liquid eyeliner just to the tips of the lower lashes. Basically half of the lashes will be white and half will be black just so it lines up with where the white eyeliner is and where the dark eyeshadow is. I'm now applying Red Rum Lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm keeping the shape of the Cupid's bow quite pointy and angular and then I will join that to the bottom lip which will be really rounded and plump looking. Once I'm happy with the lip shape, I'm using concealer on a flat concealer brush just to neaten up the edges and make the shape of the lips look really precise. After concealing the lips, I then applied a red gloss just to give it that kind of really ultra glam look. I really think it is down to the wig that makes this look, um, look so glamorous and really gives it that Miss Fame feel. I ordered this wig from London Lace Fronts and it's a custom design lace front. I told them exactly what I wanted and they delivered girl. Look at this hair though. And that's pretty much it for this Miss Fame inspired tutorial. If you like the video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.